Welcome to Amblecote in Bloom. The starting place is outside the local bicycle shop. Then we move on to our local electrical school. This man does a lot for our community, supports the local hospice. Without him it would have died a few years ago. Then we're on to our allotment site, which is just inside our gate. It's nice to see that the potholes on the site are valley ground and they are really taking part in this uh, humble coat in bloom. This is the first year our allotment's been judged properly in this competition. See, things look a little bit dry. We've had very little rain in this part of the Black Country. This plot belongs to Sam. She's our local beekeeper. She has two hives on the site. And the bees, they produce some delicious honey. These are all flowers that she picks to encourage bees. And the lavender, they're, they're very fond of that and it does give a nice flavour to the honey. And we have a few pots hanging on the picket fence. This is our communal area. This is where the uh, meeting will be held tomorrow. Buffet indoors if it's raining, but hopefully we'll be able to sit outside and enjoy some sunshine. These sunflowers are very popular on the site and not really my favourite flower. I find that the rats tend to invade them and eat the seeds off their heads. And rats are a big enough problem, I think, without encouraging them. This guy was nearly evicted off the site two years ago. His plot was an absolute tip. Now, he's in the running for the most improved plot this year. Just shows if you really get interested what you can do. Other guys like his sunflowers. He's a newcomer to uh, Lockmont Inn and he came first in the under 200 square meter allotment competition. This is Gen 101 my plot neighbour. She obviously didn't listen to Jason and take all the heads off her dahlias. Of course I did, I've got no flowers to show at the moment. I hope they're back for September when the show starts. And my leaves in the background, Jen's geraniums looking good. My lupin's looking a bit sorry for itself now. This plot needs no introduction. She's magic with flowers, Joan. The two eyed rangers look really sorry for themselves way back. The frost really hit them hard, but Joan cut all the foliage off and they've come back quite well. <laughs> 